Somewhere down there in the rainforest is John Dyer from Falmouth, who's the artist in residence at Eden, and Nishiwaka Yawanawa, who comes from a village in the northwestern Brazilian rainforest, near the border with Peru. So what does he make of Cornwall's version of a rainforest? The first time I came in inside the Bayon, I, will, I felt at home, because this is actually the temperature, the same temperature from my home. And uh, we have the same trees, um, and uh, it's, a good, it's a good feeling, yeah. Although he's sketched since being a child, this week is the first time he's used coloured paints. The result is spectacular. Baite, 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 mira noro tawara, ho, ho, ay, Nishiwaka is the son of a tribal chief. He's had a good painting tutor in John Dyer. He already had his designs and his drawings, so it was going to be a in his, head. in his head. And it's not just in his head, it comes through the spirituality of the tribe and the traditions. For his own work here, John has swapped his trademark seagulls for macaws. Tell us the mission here, what, what do you hope will happen from this? I believe if we can get children engaged okay. when they're older, when they hear about things happening to the rainforest, they will be enraged and they'll do, they will make the correct choices in their life. The paintings, along with work by hundreds of school children, will go on show in a massive exhibition here at the Eden Project in October. David George, BBC Spotlight, in Cornwall's sweltering rainforest.